Hey, how you doing? My name is Emilio from Digital Bike Computing. Today, we're gonna to go through the steps on how to install or even how to upgrade uh, your VTools, your VMware tools uh, on your VMs. We are doing this on a, on a VMware 7 environment. We have got ESXi 7 hosts and vCenter 7, uh, where the guide is really the same if you have an earlier version. If you're running 6.7 or 6.5, that is fine. We're gonna talk about that today. But before we do that, please remember as always to subscribe to my channel, Digital Byte Computing, clicking on the button and on the bell to be kept up to date with what is being released. All right, so you've got VMware, you've potentially got one or more ESXi hosts running potentially in vCenter or just ESXi hosts by themselves. And you've got a whole bunch of VMs, maybe versions of Windows from 2008, 2012, 2016, 2019, a mix, even Windows clients. You've got even potentially Linux uh, VMs in there. And it's super important to ensure that you have VMware tools uh, installed on these VMs. VMware tools brings you the better compatibility with your VMs in your VMware environment and your operating system. So you can actually do things a lot better. It's a lot more smoother. There's better driver support, all this other sort of stuff as well. So it's very, very important. And I generally recommend having VM tools uh, installed on every single one of your VMs if you can, if there is a version available. We're gonna now log into my computer, cross over to my computer, log in to our VMware environment, and then we're gonna go through those steps. So we've logged into our ESXi host. Uh, this is really a Mac mini running ESXi version seven. So you can do this uh, process of upgrading VMware tools either directly via the ESXi host right here where I'm logged in directly as a root user. Uh, or you can uh, do this over vCenter. So you can log into vCenter and then navigate to your ESXi host and then relevant VM within there. Select virtual machines and you've got a list here of all the virtual machines that are installed or that are running on this ESXi host. You'll see that there are four, three of them are powered off. And the one that we are concerned about right here is WinServer 2019 underscore test. Now, if you don't have VMware tools at all installed, uh, there'll be a little area here that says tools installed. Yes, 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 no. Okay, now if you don't have this, you can right click and select columns and then you've got tools version and tools installed listed right here. Select those and you'll get a full visibility of all of your VMs and which VMs have got VMware tools and which VMs have got a new or an older version of VTools installed. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna select this particular VM right here. We're gonna go into the console because we wanna see what's going on. Now you will find that uh, right off the bat when you are trying to console uh, through this VM without VMware tools, you are a little bit limited. You don't have all the functionality. It doesn't work as good as it should. First things first is let's log into this VM. So I'm gonna just select action, guest OS, send keys, control or delete. And now I'm just gonna log in with my credentials. This is running Windows Server 2019 uh, data center. This is just an evaluation version and it does not have VMware tools. So we need to go and install it. So up on the actions area, again, we select actions, go down to guest OS, and you'll see that install VMware tools is listed right there. If you do have it installed and you've got an earlier version and you're wanting to upgrade VMware tools, rather you'll be able to click on upgrade VMware tools right from here. So let's select install VMware tools. Now what this is gonna do is it's going to mount, as you can see right there in the little text, mount the VMware tools, install a CD-ROM. It's not really a CD-ROM of course, but it's gonna act like a CD-ROM. So if the auto prompt hasn't come up automatically, sometimes it won't, sometimes it will take a little bit of time. You can manually kick off the installer by going into Windows Explorer, this PC, and you'll see that here it is mounted, right? VMware tools mounted. And I can double click on here or I can right click and say install run program. And that will now begin the installation of VMware tools. You got a basic wizard. We're gonna select next. We're gonna select typical. We're gonna leave it as is. We're not gonna go and fool around with some of the other options. There are other things you can add or remove. Uh, you can do that in your own time or do a bit more research as to additional features or maybe not installing all the features. But we're gonna select typical because that gives you what we want. Next and install. The process shouldn't take too long. Of course, the faster your VM is configured, the faster this will go. The more specs you've got on it, the higher specs, the faster it will go. That is completed. We can now select finish 
and now we require a reboot of that VM. Okay, so be aware if you are doing this on a production server, uh, don't do this in the middle of the day, otherwise you're gonna have an outage. Uh, do it out of hours, organize an outage window. Otherwise, we can go and select yes to restart now. VM is back, and straight away you'll see that things just run a little bit smoother. Now, when you're actually playing around with it, you'll also see that if it hasn't refreshed automatically, it will refresh eventually. It now shows in here my VMware Tools version, VMware Tools 11, and that's the current build, uh, and that Tools installed is yes. So that is great, VMware Tools is installed, uh, and that is all good to go. So there you have it, they were my steps. Hopefully they were helpful to you. Hopefully you learned how to do this and that you ensure that now you can keep all of your fleet of VMs up to date with the latest version of VMware tools. That's it for now. I would love it if you comment below, let me know your thoughts if you found this helpful. Like this video and as well as that, click on that button to subscribe and clicking on the bell to be kept up to date with all of my video releases. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.